Hey, so we're picking up in Colossians again. Paul's writing this in verse 20. Since you died with Christ to the elemental spiritual forces of this world, why as those still belong to the world do you submit to its rules? I love talking about rules. Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch these rules which have to do with things that are all destined to perish with use. They're all based on merely human commands and teachings, such as regulations indeed. They have an appearance of wisdom and their self-imposed worship, their false humility and their f harsh treatment of the body. But they lack, they lack any value in restraining sensual indulgence. I love seeing what Paul is writing in here because he's talking about legalism and so much of maybe some of our past or even some of what we might read uh, we would say, well, there's rules when it comes to faith. And what we would say is this, is that there are so many things in the Bible that are more helpful things. They're tools more so than they're rules. It's not legalism we're talking about here, where if you do everything step and stride, that you get to go to heaven one day and everything's great. No, the point of this is to help us along the journey. So many of us are parents who are watching this, or grandparents, and I have a six-year-old, and we're constantly telling my six-year-old and helping her see things that are healthy for her, and not like a do, 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 but here's why these things are helpful so that you can be successful in life and lead a life that God has planned. And so it's the same thing we're talking about here. There's so many why, submit, rules, but here's what it is. So much of rules is a false appearance sometimes of what's really there, and here's what it is. It's the relationship that we're actually talking about. Paul is talking about that for every single one of us, becoming holy has nothing to do with a checklist. So I'll ask you this question. Am I, are you relying on Christ to make ourselves holy, or are we trying to work hard, strive and achieve to do the same thing? See, rule following doesn't make you holy. What brings you towards holiness is who you know, not what you do. And the who has everything to know and everything to do with Jesus Christ at the very center. Holiness is obtained in the who you know. And so I'll say it like this as we wrap up, is it's tools. The rules are there, the laws were there in the Old Testament, just like what Paul is talking about, to help us along the way. But the reality is, Jesus Christ is the bridge that brings it all together and for all of us. It's the tools that help us succeed in faith. It's not all about being step in stride and checking a box. So here would be my plea to you today. So when it comes to your faith, is it just something you check off and do? Is it just something that you go through the motions with? Or is it more? Is it a walk and a step in stride with the Father and the Son, knowing who Jesus is? Because that's the point at the end of it, our faith. When we get to heaven one day, I don't ever want to say, and I hope you don't either. Guess what? I did all these check boxes. I'd rather say, and maybe you would too, hey, I know you way more than I ever did because I spent time with you, knowing you, not just doing things that were in a Bible or a book that said to. That's our hope for you today, is that you would know Jesus more by what you do today and not the check boxes that you make.